Uh, this one's dedicated to Mike. This is how to use the Briggs and Stratton valve spring compressor. Okay. Now, first thing to realise when you're going to put these valves in is that the valve cap, valve spring cap, has this keyhole slot in it. And the purpose of that keyhole slot is so that the valve stem, which has a groove in it, can pass through the larger part of the keyhole slot like that, and then the plate goes forward and locks it in the smaller part of the keyhole slot. Now what we need to know there is that the smaller part lines up with this little notch the side of it just here. Okay, because that's quite important. So when we come to put the valve in, we're going to put the valve cap onto the valve itself and do the compressor up with the notch facing towards the operator of the compressor. If you don't do that, you're going to be in trouble when you come to put it in. So we do it up. Now we've got it at a slight angle there as you can probably see and that's because I'm going to try to keep the compressor a little bit out of the way when we're putting it in just to allow the camera to see what we're doing. So that's nicely compressed in there. We put the valve in, there he is, and put this in with the notch, a little notch there, facing out at the engine at that angle towards us. So put him in, put the valve through it, with it pulled back towards you slightly. should line up there he is he's popped in if you can see it in there now you can push the compressor away from you towards the back of the engine and that's pushed the narrow part of the keyhole slot onto the valve stem itself and then we just undo the clamp release the pressure off the spring and pull the spring out just make sure the spring is centralized in there because otherwise it'll make the valve rock and it'll cause premature valve stem wear. But that's about as simple as it gets.